new proclamations. What wise men, great men, medical men, professional people have not been able to do, God will do it. All those things that are forgotten, your forgotten strength, your forgotten power, your forgotten revelation, everything you said, I had a dream long ago. And I thought, this is what I will do. I've forgotten now, your forgotten vision will come up again. Passion will come up again. Revelation will come up again. New life will come up again in your life in Jesus' name. Only Christ Jesus has the power of this new year. An unforgettable encounter beckons. We are connecting to the God of wonders this new year for salvation and deliverance. Welcome GCK to Asaba. Delta State, Nigeria, January 26th to 31st, 2023. 1600 hours GMT daily and Global Sunday Worship at or 700 hours GMT. Also featuring ministers and professionals conference with Impact Academy for Youth, Young Adults and Young Professionals. It's a new year of wonders this 2023. From the Niger Delta, the oil of anointing will be transported by satellite and all our social media links to over 150 countries of the world. Join the team in GCK audience as the man appointed by God, the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Komoi, connects the world to an unforgettable encounter with the God of Wonders. Glorious music ministrations by choirs from nations across the world with guest music ministration by Jonathan Lee. Darkness gone. Yeah. Premature death cancelled. Yeah. Yours is now to reap the benefit. GCK, the, the gospel, gospel to every creature. Let us pray. Our Father, we bless your name for bringing us together for the Bible story tonight. We thank you for the privilege of gathering together from these various districts. And we pray that our meeting together will be richly blessed of you in Jesus' name. Grant us hearts interested in your word. And help us to take in your word. That we may get the best out of your word in Jesus' name. Correct whatever is wrong in our lives. And put us in the path of righteousness. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Already our time is done. I hope that in the next combined service we'll be able to do things quicker, settle down in time, so we can have a major part of our time devoted to the Word of God. Tonight we have a Bible study and we're studying from Colossians chapter 4. We have been following a series of studies in Colossians. And we've done many studies in Colossians. Tonight we come to a very important subject. It is a study that will determine whether we'll be able to make progress in our Christian life or will not be able to make progress. It is a study that will determine whether our families, our marriages will be built soundly on the word of God, on the grace of God or not. It's a study that will reveal whether we'll be able to keep our friends, associates, and neighbors, or maybe we'll not be able to keep them. It's a study that will show whether we'll be successful and effective in the ministry, in the work of the Lord, or maybe we'll not be able to. 
o je eko ti yo fin boya a o je alasi yo ri si re alasi ni ni nse ran se ati ti oluwa tabi be aku ni le se it's a study that will determine whether our prayer life will be recognized by heaven our prayer life will just be neglected by god o je eko ti yo pinu boya ibe aye adura wa yo je yi ti orun wa ri fun tabi ibe aye adura ti olorun ko ni pikita ni pare and it's a study that shows the very index of our christian life whether we are real Christians or we are not real Christians. O ti je eko ti o fi ru onigbagbo ti a je gan han boye onigbagbo ju lowo ni tabi aye de ru onigbagbo It's the most important subject neglected by many people many assemblies and many churches O je eko ti o se pataki ti o se koko ti opolopo awon oju ati eleya me ya ti sha ti won ko ti na ni ni pare It's study that if we have time we will have gone to Genesis almost all through the various books of the Bible to bring out the essence the importance of the study we have tonight o je eko ti o je pe bi o ba je ta koko wa be ni aba ti bere lati ni owe genesis ti a ma wa awon we olorun ni ko kan ti a si mu awon eko ti o se koko jade would have been able to touch on the various commandments relating to this subject aba le menu bo ni ruru awon ofe ti o so nipa koko yi able to relate to you all the promises that accrue that come to the people that obey what is given in this subject aba si tun le ti awon leri ti yo je ti gbogbo awon ti o ba pa oro olorun yi mo fun o we are able to buttress everything we say by many examples from all over the bible aba le fi opolopo awon apere lati ni wuri mo ti o gbogbo ti an so lein fun o we are able to show you the many people that have stumbled in the past and are stumbling now because of the neglect of this subject aba tun le fi opolopo awon eniyan ti won ti subu tele ati awon ti won subu ni sisi ni tori pe won ko na ni koko ti an lenu bayi we have been able to see you the success the effectiveness the power the authority and the promotion spiritually of the people that took note of a subject like this aba tun le fi ase yori si rere ase yege ati isego nipa ti emi ya ninu aye awon ti o je pe won kojumo won si se ogbogbo ti e ko yi so fun wa but even though we have a short time i still want you to pay close attention gbo bi o ti le je pe akoko kukuru ni ani si be mo fe ti o te ti si le gidigidi for those who are new in our bible study maybe today is your first time of coming or you have not taken note of what we do at bible study it may surprise you that we're keeping to just one verse of scripture fu awon ti won je oju tutun laarin wa ninu eko bibele yi tabi awon ti o sese wa loni pin igba koko o ti won ko si mo bi a se ma nse eko bibele wa tele o le yo lenu pe e se oro olorun kan soso bi an te ko le lori la leyi it may surprise you too that i say i don't have enough time to dig into this one single verse and preach about it and interpret it and explain it and apply it to you so much that will get the fullness of what is in this verse o tun le ma ya olenu pelu pe mo wi pe nko ni apoko to fun e se oro 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 lorun kan soso yi lati si awajile lati si alaye lati wa su lati ko ni ona to je pe o gbe fun rere o gbogbo ti wa ni lo re look at the verse colossians chapter 4 verse 6 e je ta wo ese na ko lo tori terin ese itepa let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man e je ti oro yin ti o dapo mo ore ofe ni gba gbogbo eyi ti a fi yodun ti eyin ti o le mo bi eyin o ti ma da oluklupe niyan lohun let your speech e je ti oro yin you see the word let is telling you that there is a struggle and the devil will struggle to take your speech to himself the lord on the other hand is struggling and pleading with you to control your speech you stand as a third person and he says look this side the devil wants to make your speech go astray look that side the lord wants to control your speech you come in as a third person he says you determine which direction your speech will go let your speech oro yi ti a pe ni je o n fi wa wi pe ilakaka tabi ijakade kan be nibe o wa ti mo si pe oni oju se kan lati se nipa oro ti o n so o n fi wa wi pe ni apa kan ari esu ti o fe ti o so oro ti o lodi tabi ti o si ahan re lo nibe ni apa keji ni ari jesu christ oluwa ti o fe ti oluwa ahan re ni ona ti o to ni ona ti o peye iwo ni wa je eniken ta ti o wa laarin o wa wi pe e je ti eyi tu mo si pe iwo ti o wa laarin ni o pinu ti ati o fe tesi boya ti o gbo ti oluwa tabi ti o se si ti tata le what led is calling upon you because you are free moral agent you have the ability to choose you have the ability to decide you have the ability to go to the right or to go to the left to speak right or to speak wrong and it says now you make use of that free moral agency 
Make use of your free volition. Make use of the liberty that God has given you and all the resources of grace available to you. And you make sure that you turn the right way and let your speech be always with grace. Papa, in your sopeje, oh, fear, while we pay at the dining year, as if you phone young funny, at the asset, that is your toba woo, Sabina Tinia, old toba woo, the Gabinia, at the dati, as if only I said, Tabia Bara, that in your own toba woo, or while we pay you want me on your yana to your low or a renona to lobby, Sabito low or a renona to Dara, or while we pay a jetty or on your two dap or more of any babu. And it says, Let your speech be always with grace. Oh, we pay jetty or let you my day if you had that of any bag. Do you think it's possible for me to examine and to tell you when it says always all the various conditions, all the various circumstances, all the various situations where you'll be called upon or your mind will lead you or something will impel you or compel you to want to say something? And it says in all those conditions, in all those situations, in all those places you will find yourself. When you are, when you are, have the tendency to be irritated, or to be tempted, or to be persecuted, or to be frustrated, or when there are people that are trying to get wrong words out of you, it says always at all times, in all places, with all people, at home with your family members, at home with difficult children, at home with a persecuting husband, at home with a nagging wife, in the place of work when the boss is not cooperating. Everywhere you may be, always at all times, let your speech be always with grace. Mo ba le salaye oro yi ti ape ni ni ba gogo fo o ti o nso ni be gan ni pe ni gogo apoko ninu gogo ayida ida ninu o ko nto le ma sele si o pe ni gba gogo boya ni gba gogo ninu ebi ni gba ti o dabi eni pe ara ni o ni gba ti o dabi pe o ti fun ko ogiri ni gba ti o dabi pe o ti si o o ti ta gogo pe o ti dabi eni pe O ti sonbo to le se, sugbo si be, ni ba gogo, pe lu okon ti o da bi pe o yi si ni bo, pe lu aya ti o jen ni ti, si mo yon ti e nye se ni ba gogo, pe lu an wama ti wong jen, an wama ti ti pe teri ba, pe lu o gani bi se ti o jen o roro, o wi pe, ni ba gogo, ki o ro re, ti o da koma, o re o fe, always with grace, pe lu o re o fe, ni ba gogo, I can interpret that to you what it means, it means, when you want to take bread for example, always your child will say, mommy, put butter, always, Anytime you want to drink tea, children will say always. They never forget. They say, Mommy, put sugar. Anytime you want to drink, uh, maybe Gary it is, and the children will say, Mommy, what are we going to drink it with? What they are saying is, it is this. It must never be without sugar. Never without butter. And you know, whenever you are going to talk, somebody irritates, somebody is persecuting you. Somebody is getting on your nerves. Somebody is frustrating you. Somebody is doing one thing or the other, and you want to open your mouth, the Lord says, don't talk yet. More grace. Abundant grace. As you put butter on that bread, surround all the words you are going to say with grace. As you put sugar in that pap, in that tea, don't speak yet. Let grace surround everything. Saturate it with grace. Cover it with grace. And surround it with grace before you speak it out. If you will take that to heart, Everywhere and every time, you'll never offend anybody because you'll be speaking always with the sugar and the butter of grace in everything you are passing across to people. Si mo ba tun le salaye oro ti a kwe ni, ni ba gbogbo ni yi, o to tu mo si gani pe, bo ya oman re, ni ope je bure di. Yo ma so fun pe, ya ame ki o to fun ni bure di yi, koko fi e po unyi bo, tabi e iti a kwe ni bota, koko fi pa alara, ni ba gbogbo. Tabi bo ya gari ni o si pe mo. Nibatio <laughs> Eyi ni pe ni gba teni kan ba nte won bo lenu ti o fe gboro lati enu re ti o fe ki o so nkan to to di pe ni to mu obinu yi to to di pe o gba laye lati je ki o soro lai si ati esi o podo ri daju pe o ti si ekun rere ori ofe olorun pa 
nigba gbogbo o gbodo ri pe ori ofe yi ni iroja ti o du oro ti o nja ri lenu ore our world get us into trouble because we don't remember to put in grace before we speak it out oro wa ma n ta ba pa wa lo sinu wahala nitori pe a ti bi ori ofe do ki a tu so jade how do you feel when you eat that bread without butter it's dry ba won ni o se ri lenu re bi o ba nje bread yi lai je pe o fi butter si o be ni speak those words to you without grace you know what the word is dry nigba ti awon yan ba si ba o soro ti ko ni ori ofe ninu oro na yo je oro ti o gbe how do you feel when you take that gari without sugar it is unsatisfactory ba won lo si ma ri lenu re bi o ba mu gari to ko ti sugar si ko ni te olorun when you speak words to people without grace you know what happens it is unsatisfactory o mo nigba ti o ba nba awon eyan soro ti ko ni ori ofe oro na ti te won olorun how does that tea taste without any sugar without any milk it tastes sour ba won ni eh o o ti yi yo se ri lenu nigba ti o ko ba fi tea si e ti o ko ba fi sugar si ti o ko ti milk si ko ni lado rara those what we speak out without putting grace saturating them with grace covering them with grace you know what those words are the words are sour awon oro won ni ti an so jade lai ti ori ofe do lai ti ori ofe yi po lai ti ori ofe po po mo bo tin ri oro la san ti ti se ni loro ni let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt e je ti oro yin ti o dapo mo yi ore ofe ni gba gbogbo eyi ti a fi yodun seasoned with salt eyi ti a fi iyodun i'm sure you know the use of salt o da mi loju pe o mo bi a ti lo iyo sometimes you take that a bush meat and when you take that bush meat you want to prepare it you cut it open you put salt in the internal part and then you put it on the fire and you fry that thing with the salt in it and when somebody takes it he begins to eat it he says where did you get this if you give him that same thing the same bush meat but there's no salt in it and then he takes a bite he says thank you i'm all right nigba mi ran nigba ti o ba ra eran gbe tabi pe o pa eran gbe nigba ti o ba si fe si ti o to di pe boye o de o ti koko ni daju pe gba to ba fo tan o fi yo si o si wa de le ti o ti din tan ti o ba ba fi fun enikan ti o ba ti nje ni yo ma pon lo la pe nbo lo ti bi eleyi sugbon ja wi pe bi o se pa eran yi tan ti o si se ayan re tan o ko fi yo si o kan de nigba to ba fi fun ti o ba je di eje yo ni ah ah eleyi o se fi to ti temi lorun husband sits on the table and then you put the food there now you prepare the soup and you did everything but you forgot to put salt and then he sits down he wants to eat and there is no salt in it at all he says uh, mama so and so what happened there is no salt at all nigba ti o ba gbo nje tan ti oko si ti joko tori aga joko ti o nbe ni waju table ti o fe je o nigba ti o si be ti o si to nje na wo ti o ti le je to ti la gun o ti se la la o ti lo soke sodo o ti si o nje na o ti gbo eroja lo wa ni be aya fi yo ti ko si yo ni iya lagbaja ki lo se le ko si yo ni no nje yi and if she says uh, manage it is like that today eh ya wa wa dan pe e ba mi fara mo be lori loni you say i don't enjoy this thing yo si oko si dan pe ah mi o gba don kan yirara say most man will speak what to that same wife every day without any salt up in the morning in the afternoon in the evening all the words that that husband will tell that wife has no salt in it at all you can take a single meal without salt you give what to your wife without salt 365 days of the year oko yi tan na yo je pe lojojumo laaro losan lale ni gbogbo otale ni eh odun odun ati marun ojo tin be ninu odun kan yo ma rojo oro ti ko ni ori ofe tori aya yi o wa gbo nje kan so fo ti o ni yo o bere si binu don't speak without seasoning that thing with salt ma se soro kan kan lai je pe o fi yodo and it says that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man o si to wa wi pe ti eyin ti o le mo bi eyin o ti ma da olukuluku eniyan lohun do we have time to exhaust what it means every man you speak to the boss conductor you speak to your boss in the office you speak to your teacher at school you speak to your leaders in church you speak to the subordinates in the house fellowship you speak to a stranger that you are just meeting every man no matter where you are meeting them make sure that let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man under the sun bi akoko ba wa to lati salaye oro ti a pe ni olukuluku eniyan ni yi o nti o sojo ni pe awa agbowu oko ti o gbowu oko ninu oko ero o tun so nipa oga alewe ti o nko ni lewe o so nipa agbani sise ti o gbo sise o so nipa eni ni ti o ti o je oga fun ni bi ise 
o so nipa oko re ninu ebi tabi iyawo re ninu ebi o so nipa awon omo o so nipa ajeji ti o ko riri o so nipa alejo ti o ko mo ri se nigba ku gba ti o ba fe yenu re je ti oro yin ti o dapo mo ri ofe nigba gbogbo eyi ti a fi yodun ti eyin ti o le mo bi eyin o ti ma da olukuluku ni lo i told you this study is very important mo so fun yin pe e ko yi se patake and already you will see from the little i have said on that first day how important it is ninu die ti mo ti so ninu ese ni pe ese ke fa yo mo bi e ko na ti se patake to it is the neglect of the teaching of this verse that brings divorce that brings breakage in our family ai bikita ati aina ni ese oro olorun ti akaye ni o mu ki awon oko ati aya ti won pin ya tabi ti won ko ara won sile patapata this is what uh, develops into fighting so, and beating one another whether in the bus stop or in the motor park or at the garage or on the road whenever you see two people fighting somebody has spoken word without grace somebody has spoken word not season with salt Somebody did not know how to answer the other fellow that's what resulted into fighting. Onti o ma nfa ede ayede seta ati ija ta kiri loni ni yi boya ni ibudoko tabi ni bi ti an gbe oko si tabi ni bi kidi boya ni ile ise tabi ni no le nigba ti o ba ri awon meji ti won bere si ija o nto tumo si ni pe enikan ti so oro ku ba kun gbe eyi ni oro ti ko ni ti a ko fi ye ori ofe do o ti so si enikeji ni ti wa la fi nsele our speech is very important oro enu wa se patake puko our speech is one of the truest indicators of our spiritual condition oro wa yi je okan ninu awon o nti o fi ko ti igbaye wa nipa ti eni wa han the mouth of the unredeemed pours out evil enu awon eni ti ko ti ni ra pada ma nti ibi jade they do not know they ought to butter that bread and sugar that tea they just give out the dry word the sour word the unsatisfactory word every time won ko mo pe won ni lati fi sugar si tea ni won ni lati fi butter si bread won be pelu won ni lati fi sugar si eh gari ti won pe mo won atan so oro na la so oro sakala oro ti ko ni yo ti ko lado the mouth of the unredeemed will pour lust and deceit enu eni ti ko ti ni ra pada yo ma tu ifeku pe ati esan jade we pass curses and lies yo ma tu ego ati ro jade perversity and vanity oro are kereke ati oro atan flattery and foolishness iyin ete ipon ni ati were idle talk vain talk and false doctrine awon oro were oro ti ko lese nle ati epo ete we pour out swearing filthy communications and gossip yo ma tu oro ibura ati oro idibaje ati opopo jade in fact the bible puts it this way in romans chapter 3 talking about the language of the unredeemed ona ti pe li ti le fi pe kale fun wa ni yi ninu owe romu ori iketa o so ni pa han awon ti ko ti ni ra pada verse 13 ese iketa la their throat is an open sepulcher with their tongue they have used deceit the poison of ass is under their lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness isa oku ti o si sile ni ofun won aha won ni won fi se isanje oro pa mo le nbe labete won enu eni ti o kun ku epe ati fun oro ki koro normally sepulcher is the tomb is where you bury dead people normally when you bury somebody you cover that tomb so that the the uh, odor will not be coming out to disturb the people living around isa oku ni an pe ni iboje tabi sare nibi ti an fun oku si o ti mo pe nigba ti o ba ti gbe oku sinu sare tan o da ye pe bo mole ti o ru re ma ba ma jade ki o ma ba ma di awon eniyan la le lowo but it said these people the unbelieving people the unredeemed people their throat it is it's a sepulcher not a covered sepulcher it's an open sepulcher sugo wa so nipa awon eyan won yi ni yi awon ala igbagbo awon eni ti ko ti ni ra pada pe aha won yi ofo won o je isa oku ki se isa oku ta ti bo mele sugbe isa oku to si sile with their tongue they have used deceit oni aha won ni won fi se itanje you know there is deceit everywhere among the unredeemed o ti mo pe ni bi gogo laarin awon ti ko ni ra pada ni itanje wa among the unbelieving or saved people there is deceit everywhere laarin awon ala igbagbo awon ti ko ti ni igbala itanje je ta ri aye laarin won the poison of us is under their under their leaf oro pa mo le nbe labe ite won now you may take all this to be figurative language o kan le ma wu awon oro yi gege bi oro ajuwe lasan ti nipa to we you may take it to mean that the apostle is just writing this 
How can poison be under the leaves of a human being? O le ma ro wi pe apostle yi tan po eleyi lati fi atawe le pe ba wo ni oro se le wa labe ipi awon enikan. If you know how an unbelieving husband will talk to a wife and because of the talking, the negative talking, the shouting, the screaming and everything that he said, the woman has hypertension. Her life has been poisoned by the words coming from the unregenerate man. Bi o ba mo na ti ala igbagbo oko fi ma nba ya re soro. Awon oro ti o le, awon oro ti o kun ku ibinu ati irunu ti o ma tu le lori. To be ge ti o je pe obinrin yo ni ipururu, yo si ni eje gbona, yo si ki emi re puru. Oro pa mo le mi le yi la be awon funi na. If you know us some unbelieving people and some people who say they are believers but really they are still unbelieving. If you know the way they will speak to little children and they will speak and speak bitter words, angry words, cutting words, terrible words, that the moment that child hears the voice of that person coming from afar, already there is fear, there is sweating all over the body. And the child is shaking like this and the child does not know himself anymore. What's the matter? The system of that child has been poisoned by the words coming out of that man to that child. Bi Obama or not, I want like that book of Iman Soro. I want at your own new bag, but I want me not to only for your new bag, but you want to talk to your life bag, or not to be man low. I want that you bow my day sorrow. So I get your Japanese bag, so that you are not Jadita, or my you better keep my genuine, you're my baby, you're my worry. So I get your Japanese, you're a boomer. They buy me not to my bag, you're a bear. Genuine, you're a boomer, and you're a boomer, 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 this poison we're talking about is what makes a person come to a particular place now before he came. You've been happy, you've been praising the Lord, you've been reading the promises of God, and you've been saying, I praise the Lord, I'm a Christian, I praise the Lord for what he has done. This fellow will come in and he will say something, something very sharp, something very sour, something very discouraging, something very cutting, something that you will just look for. You will want the ground to open and you just enter in. And what he says, you'll be covered with shame and sorrow. He drops that poison and he has gone. That thing he says for five minutes, one year you have not forgotten. Oro Pamale ye only on to man fan, you know, I have me can't you about what you become. You need to do then webin. You want to eat your thing, you want to you a logo, you know one do two things to bell alone for but your lawn for one. You want to set it to your wallet, lani, the jumaro. So bad it's all rocky, Kuru. Or a Buguru, or a Tim Panero, or a Tojako Mamuke, and my room to Masuka soon double. Lani, the Jumaru, you took it to Ro, Pamale, you daddy, or go put it that way, Lani, or Doka Bako, or Ro, Punitan, you have enough. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. And when it's your cook, I see your rocky Kuru. Some families are just full of bitterness and cursing. I will pick up what you get to walk for four or a few for a few or a few. In the bedroom, it's all cursed. They begin to curse one another. You know, you are right between one foot. It's when you open it, you are right away. At the backyard, when they are going to the toilet or when they are going to the bathroom, all that comes out is cursed. Then, you can't go to the bathroom. 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 They sit in the room and they start with a nice conversation, just discussing together, husband and wife, or those who are living together. In five minutes, everything will change. Cursing has started again. Make that one about your possibility. One thing, no, you have to one by legend. You don't want to bury or a quatia or a tiodara. Lani, so you want to put your father, what you bury. No matter where you get in that house, in that uh, community, every anywhere you go, they just be throwing curses at one another. You will never do well. You will not stay in this house. I, you, I will get rid of you. Uh, you are the one that is making my business to collapse. This is what will happen to you. Except my father is not my father. And uh, when you when you check up, they have three, four Bibles, one Bible at the sitting room, one Bible in the in the room, one Bible everywhere. Bible everywhere, but cursing and bitterness fills the house. Me ru a dupo tabi a wujobe ifi ati oroki koro fi kuro le no wa yo ma wipe iwo bere yi iwo lo nse ku pa mi iwo lo nse ni iwo lo ni mi lara iwo ni o ko je pe ko mi ko yori ti mo nitori na bai ni yo ri po abi ti ba si baba mi lo tu a je baba mi lo bi mi sibe wo ri daju pe iwo pelu ti o ba ti o ba ro ku a ro le ru adie ifi ati oro buburu ni o nja de le no ni gbagbogbo as you see why we don't have peace in our family. Because we say we are redeemed, but our mouth is not converted. 
again. I am born again. Our mouth is not born again. I am a child of God. Our mouth does not follow us to the kingdom of God. Tonight I pray that God will change us. Let's look at three points. Number one, grace in the heart. Number two, speech, grace, and thought. Number three, answering to edify. You see, before our language, our speech, our conversation, can be what it ought to be. There must be grace in the heart. You cannot draw water out of a dry well. You cannot take food out of an empty cupboard. You cannot pour oil out of an empty bottle. You cannot take water out of an empty bucket. If we are going to manifest the grace of God in our language, first of all, our hearts must be filled with the grace of God. Because it is what is inside that will come out. You see, when you open a particular barrel and you want to take something, they say, go and take water from there. And you didn't know that there is no water there. Oil is there. And without looking very well, you just put your cup inside. As to take the thing out, it is not water, it is oil. It is what is inside that will draw out. Oma, nipa to bape lo bumi, lati no ikoko, tabila la dugo kan. Yon is upon yipe lo bumi, ni no ikoko, tabila dugo ni. Nipa ti o ti wo, o ti ro komi lo wa, nipe oko ti ye wo rara, ti o ti te ipe to fe si bo ti no re ba ye. That is why the Bible says out of the abundance of the mouth speaks. Matthew chapter 12 verse 34. Matthew, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It is only when grace has filled our hearts we'll be able to speak out words of grace. When your heart is full of love, you'll be able to speak out words of love. When your heart is full of truth, you'll be able to draw out words of truth. When your heart is full of kindness and compassion, the compassion of Christ just fills your heart. Every compartment of your heart, every part of your heart, what is inside is compassion, kindness. When you speak out, words of compassion and kindness will come out. When your heart is full of appreciation and gratitude, you just say, I thank God I married this wife. I couldn't have got any other wife better than this. God did this one for me. Gave me this wife. When your heart is full of appreciation, the words that will be coming out of your mouth are the words of appreciation and gratitude. When the heart is full of mercy, and in, the, in your heart, just pour, God just pours out his mercy. And the heart is full, very full of the mercy of God. The moment you open your mouth like this, words of mercy will be coming out. Out of the abundance of the heart, 
the mouth speaker. Ninu opolopo ohun inu ni enu iso. As we're talking about grace, speech with grace. That grace will be in our heart first. Bi a ti nsoro nipa oro wa pelu ore ofe, ore ofe yin o kokoko gbodo wa ninu okan wa na. If the heart is not full of the grace of God and the love of God and the mercy of God and the compassion of God, you cannot control the mouth to say anything different from what is inside the heart. Bi okan re ko ba fun fun ore ofe Olorun ti ko ba fun fun ife Olorun ti ko ba fun fun anu Olorun o ko le so ti o yato jade ni tori pe o to ba nbe lokan ni o ma so jade lenu. James chapter 3 verse 8. Jacob ori keta ese ikejo but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Sugba aha ni eni ke ni ko le tu loju the only solution is that the heart will be full of the grace of God. What should I do? What should you do before the heart becomes full of the grace of God? Look up here and listen to me. Somebody has done something against you. It offended you. Irritated you. It just destabilized you. And there is the temptation to talk to the person. What to do is to say, there is no grace in that place, I won't talk. There's no joy inside that place I want to talk. There's no peace inside that place I want to talk. There's no compassion inside that place I want to talk. There is no appreciation inside that place I want to talk. You go to the Lord in prayer. And God feels you afresh. With more grace. With more love. With more kindness, with more appreciation, and you see yourself loving that person, appreciating that person. Now that your heart is full of grace, you come out to say, Now I can talk. I feel that love within. I feel that grace within. Now I can talk. Now if you talk, grace will come out. Don't talk every time. If you see that you are not full of grace within, don't talk. If you see that what will come out may poison the life of that individual, you don't want to poison anybody, don't talk. Let there be grace before you open your mouth and you speak to those people. Will you do that? Will you control yourself? You know some people they talk too much, they talk every time. When they feel offended, they talk. And that's the time they shouldn't be talking. You know, sometimes to say some things and after saying them, you regret you said them. Have you ever felt like that before? And sometimes you say, Why did I talk now? Look at the way the person has been unhappy. Why did I even open my mouth? Next time, make sure you are full of the grace of God before you open your mouth. Especially when you are talking to a lady. When you are talking to your wife, a memory of women will retain bad words for a long time. Whereas the man, after you have spoken the word, he may feel sorrowful for a little time, but men are normally courageous. They forget all about it. That woman may not forget after men are forgotten. When you speak to women, be very, very careful because you may be doing permanent injury into their lives. If you can say something good, then you keep quiet. I won't be in woman to or to your buru, a unique or to your sauce, you want to your rock, back with woman to just in work and work, quick back with bed, your bad job on any opera to get a yard, you bag the care cash, but you should be in it, your maru, a rook, a rook, and your city, you know, to your professor, six years or ten penny row, master on your book. If you do that, there will be more peace in your family. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, I'm looking at it from verse 12. 
for our rejoicing is this, that the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godless sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world. You see that? By the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world and more abundantly toward you. Nitori e yi ni isogo wa, eri okan wa, pe ni wa mimo ati ododo olorun, ki se ni pa ogbon ara, bi ko se ni pa ore ofe olorun nje ori eyi, bi ko se ni pa ore ofe olorun ni awa huwa ni aye ati si yin ni opolopo. What I'm emphasizing to you is that the mouth cannot speak right until the heart becomes right with God and right with our fellow men. O ti mo piyanju lati tenu mo fun o ni pe enu ko le soro bi o ti to titi di igba ti okan eniyan ba to pelu olorun ati pelu awon eniyan bi ti wa There is a connection a link between the heart and the mouth iba se po ati ajo se po ti mo ti mo kan wa laarin okan ati enu the tongue cannot be tamed until god's grace changes the heart ko si on ti o le di ahan mo tabi ti o le pa lenu mo bi ko se wi tori ofe olorun ba yi okan pada and it is true conversion that leads to conversion of life conversion of character conversion of speech iyi pada okan to to ni o si ma mu iyi pada igbe aye iyi pada iwa ati iyi pada oro wa the quickest way to recognize that somebody has been converted is that his speech his talking his conversation has been converted ona ti o ronun julo lati mo pe enikan ti ni yi pada okan o ti ni igbala to to o ni pe oro re ede enu re ati iwa si re ona ti o fi ba yan soro o ti yi pada patapata if your conversation has not been converted if all the old jokes old lies old exaggeration old deception old slander old flattering is still there and there is no change there is no conversion in what is coming out of your mouth your heart has not been converted you are not a child of god bi o ba wi pe o ti ni yi pada sugbon sibe ti o je pe oro re ko ti yi pada iro atijo oro epe ati yeye atijo oro asorege ati asoju ti ato atijo gbogbo awon oro ona ti o ngba soro ni atijo ni ko ti yi pada enu re ko ti yi pada nitori pe okan ko ti yi pada o ki se omo olorun Repentance and faith in Christ as Savior brings the heart to the place where you have asked for forgiveness and you receive forgiveness and you receive the grace of God. Ironuku wa da ti igbagbo ninu Christi gege bi olugbala ni o ma mu okan wa si bi ti a ti nbere ti a tin ri idariji ati ori ofe gba. It is that grace of God that brings power for change. Ori ofe Olorun yi ni o ma mu agbara yi pada wa. When we come to Christ and we receive grace from him our conduct our speech will become new totally different nigba ti a ba wa sodo christi ti a si gba ori ofe lati odo re iwa wa ati oro wa ma di tutun yo yi pada pata pata we don't say what we used to say a ti so awon oro ti a ma nso tele mo we don't think the way we used to think a ti ro nu ni ona ti a ngba ro nu tele if you say you are born again your children will know it by the change of your language ti o ba wi pe o ti di atun bi awon mo re yo mo ni pa ide re to ti yi pada your husband will know it by the change in your language aw aya re yo mo ni pa yi pada to ti de ba oro enu re grace in the heart will bring gracious words to your mouth and through your mouth ore ofe ninu okan yo ma mu oro ti o kun kun ore ofe wa ti enu re ati lati enu re jade go to point two great speech grace and soul e je ki a lo sinu koko keji oro ore ofe ati yo grace and salt with your speech oro ati ore oro ore ofe ati yo pelu oro re Let's look at Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Eje ki oro yin ki o da po mo ore ofe ni gba gbogbo eyi ti a fi yodun. I told you already that that means that you surround your word, you saturate your word, you support your word with the grace of God. And with the salt of the gospel. Mo ti so fun yin tele ri pe ki oro yin ki o je yi ti a fi ore ofe do. Eyi ni pe gbogbo oro ati ede re o fi ore ofe do ati yo oro Olorun. Now sometimes you may think that my illustration is simple, but these illustrations 
are just like the illustrations of the Bible. Are just like the Whenever Jesus interpreted or spoke to the people, he spoke with common, common things that people could understand that they could see in their home or see in their farm or see in their community so that the people could understand. It says that our speech will be seasoned with salt. You know, the women who cook, they have to practice. Sometimes, uh, you know, as they practice the cooking, they see the salt is not sufficient. By a particular time, when they are practiced over and over and over, when they are cooking, if the pot is this size, or the pot is this size, or the pot is the larger size, they know how much salt should get into that food. Oh, so ni we pay kia fi i yodo orowa atoju we yi ni on so ni pati awo obiriti o man sebe ni pati oba inti obe yilowo o man oshuwe yoti o yekwa piti no bena so ba jekwe iko ko obe keke reba yini o man yoti oto so ba jekwe tu peto ba yini o man yoto oto so ba jekwe tu jekwa akwen la iko koti oto biga ni o man yoti oto ti yodo o wa yu kia fi yodo orowa be it is as the women practice to put appropriate salt to appropriate uh, container it is that way you will put appropriate grace you see the level of discouragement of that person you know the level of comfort the level of encouragement to put in you see the frustration of that individual you see the discouragement you see the temptation you see the trial you see the sickness you see the downward trend or the defeat the measure of the problem will make you to know how much grace how much salt you have to put into your word that it will edify and lift up the person you are talking to. It takes practice. Practice is necessary. Let's look at Psalm 45 verse 2. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, God has blessed thee forever. I want your Jew, Jew, and woman in your law. I doubt your face, your nearty. Nitorina, your law, um, book, um, for lie, lie. Ultimately, this is talking about Jesus Christ. That you, that you not, Nepa, Jesus Christ, near any in Sonic Parade. You heard when the heavens opened and the voice of the Father spoke from heaven and said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. This is one of the reasons. Grace is poured into thy lips. That's why they always wanted to listen to Jesus Christ. No matter what you have done, no matter where you are coming from, no matter your problem, no matter your discouragement, you always want to be with Jesus Christ. See him talking to the children. See him talking to those women. See him ministering to that woman by the well. See him talking to the strangers. See him talking to the doubters. See him talking to those who are discouraged. See him to those talking to those that have problems. See him talking to his disciples when he caught them in a particular mistake. Even when he rebuked them, they dressed closer to him. Even when he said, why is it you have little faith? The way he said it, they never ran away. They drew closer to him again. Nigba ti o ti le to wi fun o wi pe e se ti e fi je o ni gbagbo kekere ona ti o gba so 
The person who can correct with grace. Chastise with grace. Rebuke with grace. Appoint you in the right direction with grace. Grace is poured into thy lips. Let us see the result of that in Luke chapter 4. Verse 22. And all, and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. I pray that God will pour the words of grace into our mouth. That from tonight, if our words have been causing heat in the hearts of people before, now our words will have a cooling effect in the hearts of people. Job chapter 6. Reading from verse 25. Job chapter 6, verse 25. How possible are right words, but what does your arguing reprove? In argument, we always lose the grace of God. Once argument begins, grace will decrease. Kindness will decrease. Once argument begins, compassion, considering one another, will decrease. That's why it says if your words are right, they will be possible. They will have a strong influence. But once it degenerates into argument, the purpose is lost. In Ethiopia, Proverbs chapter 16. Reading from verse 24. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Pleasant words. Are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul, health to the bones. Or a didum tabi a paraoni, o do, mauka, o si shay lira for a gogo. Many people every day they are looking for blood tonic. They are looking for a kind of tonic that will make us strong. O polopa win your lojo jumani won wa o go ateje she. My brother, you give your wife money. You say you are growing lean. You are not, uh, you know, as you used to be. Go and buy tonic. The tonic that money cannot buy is the word coming out of your mouth. Pleasant word. Comforting words. Uplifting words. Encouraging words. Words of kindness. If we speak more of those words, we take less of tonic. The pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul. And it's health to the bones. Oro, didum dabi a paraoni, odumoka, o si shay lira po e gogo. Have you ever dealt with a little child? A little child is trying to solve a particular problem, maybe English or arithmetic or any homework they gave the child at school. And she read the question, she didn't, he didn't know I will go about it. Discouraged. I'm just sitting down. He's sitting down as if he doesn't have any bone. He's so weak. And almost crying. And he must give this homework to the teacher tomorrow morning. The father comes there. What are you doing? 
You have not finished that own work. Oh, tea party shall let you say. Oh boy, only how to kick a football and how to eat is only what you know. Oh, the last of all, Baba Luma, oh, monk. If you don't finish that thing now, you are not going to sleep tonight. Yo, but the party shall get your own insula. That doesn't uh, sharpen the brain of the boy. In fact, it brings more problems. Tears will cover the face. Discouragement will cover the mind. The brain, if the brain was down before, it, the brain is now worse. But after the father threatening like that, and then the mother comes along. Says my boy, what's the matter with you? Don't cry. You know this thing. The one you did yesterday is more difficult than this one. You are a bright boy. And take the sand and wipe away the tears. Look at the question. You, can, you are higher than this, you can do this thing. What it says is this, this, and this. You see it now. That's why your daddy said you should do it. If your daddy knows you can do it. All of a sudden, the bones that were weak before, they become strong. The hand that was shaking when holding the pencil before, the hand is now firm. And while the child has done it halfway, the mother said, that's it, you are getting it, that's exactly what you are to do. And the child begins to smile. Before you know what is happening, the child has finished the problem. Pleasant words. They are sweet to the soul and health to the bones. We are the people killing our children with the words coming out of our mouth. We are the one discouraging the workers with the words coming from our mouth. Pleasant words. Words of grace. Words of love. Words of kindness. It will build your power. Family. It will unite your family. It will make your children run. When they finish school, they'll be running home. I want to go and see daddy. I want to go and see mommy. If there is bitterness, words of bitterness, words of anger at home, your children will prefer to be staying at school and playing football. Because after all, when they come home, they say it is better outside. Words we hear at home are not pleasant words. If you bring pleasant words into the family, the children will be running to the house when they come out of school. Nigbati <laughs> The mouth of a Christian should always utter words that are spoken with grace. Gracious speech should be a habit. Whether you are under persecution, in a stressful situation, at home with your wife, with your husband, with your child, or with your neighbor. Let your speech always be gracious. Always with grace. It is the result of the heart that is already changed by the grace of God. It means your speech will be spiritual. Wholesome. Fitting. Very kind. Sensitive. What it means about sensitive is that you look at somebody's face and you know that already the person is down, the person is sorrowful. You wanted to say something before and you see that that thing may increase the sorrow. You are very sensitive. You'll keep that thing. You may say it in another way at another time. Sometimes you 
ti o wa wi pe akoko yi ko ni yo to lati zo roro yi o wa o ko wa soro na ni akoko na o tumo si pe o n soro tun mo gbon wa the world is purposeful oro na si je yi ti o ni ete it is complimenting o je oro tin gbe ni ro and it is gentle o si je oro jeje it is truthful o je oro ti to it is loving o je oro ife it is thoughtful o je oro arojile never bitter ti je ti se oro ki koro rara not vindictive and sarcastic ki ti se oro ipe san tabi oro egan Some people are very very sarcastic. I mean, I get elegant. You want to They talk indirectly with abusive language. They say they are Christians. And they have a way of teasing somebody, torturing somebody, and have a way of pinching somebody with the word that they are speaking. And they smile a little, and really they are hurting the fellow. Once you more or not, you want to be sorrow. You want to be fine in your lady. ti won gba nlo ogba yi nike ti won gba lo ona ogba ti ara lati ba enikan soro tebi pe nigba ton ba soro ton won ma re ni won si pe ni lara i was should not be angry was a shady word oro wa ko gbodo je oro ibinu rara tabi oro okunkun o cutting word o si tun gbodo je oro tin pa ni o ti o nke ni lule do you have any tree fruit bearing tree behind your house ijo ni igi kan igi ti o je igi eleso lai ku le re bi and the little children are always going there cutting it little by little cutting it little by little every time they come back from school they take cutlass cut a little they come from other day cut a little that tree will never grow will never bear fruit ti o si je pe nigba ku gba ti awon mo re ba ti le we de lo joju mo ni won ma nke igi yi won lo mu ada won ge die loni ti won tun de lo la won o tun ge die lo joju mo be se ani iru igi be ku ni le se so a person that you always cutting with what always cutting with what she is cooking in the kitchen you have not finished that food you caught with an abusive language she is uh, washing clothes you are going to spend the whole day washing only three pieces of clothes you have not finished you caught her with what again she is trying to sweep a place or prepare the bed for you to sleep you have not finished pre- preparing that thing that's all that's the way you always do you are like your mother you caught her with what again every day you are cutting something you will cut that thing down nigbati o ba ri aya re ni le dana ti o dana lowo ti o si pe a a wa o di ojo kan pa ko lo fe fi dana o tun o ge o ke ilule o tun di boye ojo keje ori o n poso o wa pe a a se wakati meta lo fi pe yo aso meta pe o tun ge ilule pe ya ni ojo mi ran o tun ri o tun o pe o fe te ibi buso o wa pe a a bi ti ya re na sa lori o yi pada rara o tun ge nigba to n ge die die bayi o ge ilule patapata even a piece of meat if you are cutting it little by little one day you will cut everything down eran gan ti o nfe yin ja bi o ba je pe die die lo ti en ja senu lojo kan o ri pe o ri pe ki a ke eran na tan don't you know that what caught more than razor blade o pa mo wi pe oro ma nke ni wo raju abefele olodi lo it enters into the heart o si ma wo nu egungun o ma wo nu okan that is why we have some women they will lock up the door in the in the bathroom they will be crying because of the words that were spoken last week you have forgotten but it is still cutting them idi ni to fi je pe ani awon obirin kan ti won lo si ilewe ti won si ti le komo ni ti won bere si so ko oro yi to ti so si lati nkan bi ose kan sein iwo ti gbagbe sugbon oro na si nke sibe and i wash you not be cutting oro wa ko si gbodo ma ke ni why are you cutting other people ile ti o fi nke awon elomiran lule do you enjoy destroying people se inu re ma ndo si pe ko ma pa awon elomiran lule like jesus christ ile de to le dabi ti jesus christ the precious words will be pouring out of your lips pe ki oro ri o pe ki o ma tu jade lati enu re from tonight i pray we will change lati asale yi lo mo gbadura pe a o yi pada all the criticism all the cutting all the discouragement Why are we doing like that? It's only wicked people that will continue wickedness. Gbogbo iwa idanilejo gbogbo emi ipanirun gbogbo ipi oro ba ni je ati oro buburu pe ki o ma jade lenu wa eniyan buburu ni o ye ki o ma wa buburu. Let's look at point 3. Je eje ka wo koko keta answering to edify. Di down lati gbe ni ro answering to edify. Di down lati gbe ni ro. You see whenever you answer somebody make sure that the answer you give that person is to edify. Nigba ku gba ti o ba de nikan lo ri daju pe idan ti o fun oni ton wa lati gbe ero. It's to build up. Oni lati ko ki o so ro. Challenge the person. Pe lati gbe ni yi ni ja. It's to make somebody who is uh, you know getting this correct to make the person put more strength. Ati lati mu mu ke nikan ti o ti ni rewe se ati daya po ki o taji ki oni okun si. Don't you see sometimes when 
then they are running. And then there are spectators on the side. And these people they are running and running. And, and there is a particular person that is coming first. And uh, but now she's getting tired. And she's slowing down. And the people that are sitting at the stadium. They begin to shout. More strength. You are getting full. You are almost there. All of a sudden, this person that is almost weak and getting tired, because of the shouting of these people on the side, power will come in. You know what I'm talking about? Strength will come in. And then when the person begins to run faster now, those people, they begin to clap. They begin to shout. They say, courage, you can do it and then she's running more and then eventually she comes forth it is the encouraging word that made that person to come forth encourage your wife at home encourage your husband at home encourage your children at home when they are getting tired when they are weak somebody who has no is the weak in prayer when I know the devil will catch you. You are sleeping in prayer. Anyway, I, see me, I will go to heaven. I won't say because you are my wife, you are sleeping in prayer. If you want to go to hell, you will go to hell. That will not drive sleep away. That will bring more sleep. When you encourage a person, I know you worked hard so much in the afternoon. All the clothes you had to wash. All the food you cook. I know if I had helped you, maybe you are not be as tired as this. But prayer is very important. So let us, and you have been doing well. Let us try. It's because of the prayer you have been praying for this family. That's how God is asking, helping us. Your prayer, we cannot do without your prayer in this family. That person will wake up and pray, but the person we are discouraging, I know you will not pray. I know devil is going to catch you. Why are you saying devil is going to catch your wife? Do you want devil to catch your wife? It's says, let your speech be always with grace, seizing with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Oni ejeki oro yin ki o dapo mo ri ofe ni gba gbogbo eyi ti a fi yodun ki eyin ki o le mo bi eyin o ti ma da oruklupo eniyo lohun. Proverbs chapter 15. Owe orike dogun reading from verse 1. Anka lati ese ikin ni a soft answer turneth away wrath and grievous words stir up anger. Idan pele yi ibinu pada Soft answer is what will make there to be peace at home. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 1. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 27. Even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise. He that shorteth his lips is esteemed as a man of understanding. First Peter chapter 3. Verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Edifying conversations reveal hearts that have been affected by the grace of God. We must lean much upon the Lord so that he will help us 
in our speech so that we can answer rightly and always edify people we speak to. Agbodo sin ni le Oluwa lati le ran wa lowo nipa oro si so ki a le ma da nbi otito ati lati gbe ni ro so that you will edify your children, edify your husband, edify your wife, edify your friends, edify your neighbors. Si o ba le ma gbe awon omo re ro ki o le ma gbe oko re ro ki o le ma gbe aya re ro ki o le ma gbe awon aladugo re ro. We speak every day, we speak every time. A ma nsoro lojo jumo, a ma nsoro ni gba gbogbo. Let us make sure that our words are seasoned are with grace. Seasoned with salt. That we may know how we ought to answer everyone. I'm sure you see the importance of what we have studied tonight. We need more grace. We need more of the love of God. We need a change in our language. The Lord will help us. He has helped us in other areas. There are some of us who are smoking before, but the help of God, we don't smoke anymore now. Some of us who are going to night clubs before, by the grace of God, we don't do that now. Some of us who are stealing before, God has helped us and given us grace. By the grace of God, we don't do that anymore now. If God has helped us in that area, can He not help us in this area? It will help us. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord. We need His help. We need His grace. That our language will change. Our conduct will change. Our lifestyle will change. Our behavior will change. Our answering one another will change. Everything we have been saying, everything we have been doing, everything will change. Let your conversation change. Let your answers change. Let your relationships change. If you have not been born again, talk to the Lord and be born again. Talk to the Lord that you need a change. And He will bring the change into your life. He will bring the change into your language. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. That ye may know how ye ought to answer every man.